Um, personally, I've been enjoying the quarantine a lot. Um, I'm basically taking this as uh, time to do s the stuff that I normally would say I don't have time to do, you know? Since I'm home from school and I can't work right now. So I've been doing a lot of art, gardening. I've mostly been gardening to prepare for the food shortage. I personally am really glad it's going on because my grades are doing a lot better since all the exams are not proctored. They're all online and open book. So I've been having a pretty good time. Seems like a lot of other people are too. Um, although it is still really sad. A lot of people I know, um, they lost their jobs and now are not able to like keep their apartments and things like that. So it definitely is a tragedy, but personally I'm doing okay. Honestly, I feel like this time by myself, not being able to hang out with people has been good for me. Normally I'm a very extroverted person, but I feel like this is turning me into an introvert, which I'm okay with. Um, I think it's something I really needed to learn, to learn to be able to just be by myself and keep myself entertained with my own endeavors. Hi there, my name is Audrey Young and today I'm going to be talking about how this quarantine has been affecting my life. I'm a senior in high school right now, so I'm supposed to be graduating this year, yay! But um, I'm not sure yet if we're gonna be able to do an actual graduation ceremony or senior prom. I don't know if I'm gonna get to go to senior prom and it would be really disappointing because this is my last chance to attend prom and I was really looking forward to it and now I just don't know what's gonna happen with school, with graduation, any of the events they had planned, all, sport, all of the sports are cancelled, and then there's home life. So I'm at home with six of my seven brothers, almost 24 hours a day. Um, I've been trying to go outside more and go on walks or just sit in the sun. Um, today I took my dogs out for a walk and it was probably the most sun I've gotten in a few weeks. Which was, it was nice. Yeah, it was nice to get out of the house. Um, but I wish it wasn't like a special sort of thing. We've started a garden, me, my brother, and my mom. We have potatoes and some different lettuces and spinach. And we've got tomatoes and parsley and chives and basil. Um, so that's kind of just like a just in case, I guess, if we need to have our own food. Um, it's kind of a good excuse to start a garden. I actually had my birthday in quarantine. My 18. <laughs> um, and I had planned this whole birthday party with balloons and I had a, pl a little place rented where I could host and I knew exactly what my birthday invitations were gonna look like. I was all ready to send them out. I had a menu <laughs> and it didn't happen. And you know thinking about all of these things I really do feel for those people who it's affecting and I I wish there was something I could do I, I feel very complacent but then I also you know I have my feelings and I can't erase that I can't ignore it it's really hard not being able to see people I'm I'm a very physically affectionate person with my friends I love to hug them I like to cuddle with them, and it's just hard not having that physical contact and only being able to talk to my friends verbally. And then being cooped up in my house with all of my brothers, you can imagine that's driving me insane. I guess what's kind of getting me through it is hope. I have faith and hope that 
when this is all over, we can go back to normal and it won't have been too bad, I guess. I I feel like we've not done enough. I want each and every one of us to be able to look back on this time and say, I did the best I could. I did the best I could do with what I was given. It could be worse for people like me. But that doesn't mean that we can't have our feelings, too. Uh, it's day who knows of the quarantine. And I feel like I'm starting to lose it. I have left the premises several times, um, only out of mental necessity. You know, there's this camp that I go to every year. It's a family camp at my church's campgrounds. I haven't missed it once since I was born. I go there every year, and I can't help but worry that it's gonna get canceled this year. I, I keep thinking about my experience at camp last year, and I can't help but think that I just, I did camp wrong last year. I didn't do it right. I mean, I had a good time like always, but I felt like I spent so much of the week cooped up in my cabin watching movies or working on my movie that I showed that week. When, you know, none of that stuff is important or anywhere near as important as spending time with the people in that place that, you know, you care about. But this year, if camp does happen, then I feel like I have to take every opportunity to be involved with the people there and not out of some moral obligation to. It's just the people that I care about and the place that I care about. And I want to spend as much time with them as possible. You know, with eighth grade, ninth grade, and most of 10th grade, I basically went nowhere except my house and school. Uh, I mean, yes, I went other places, but when it comes to socializing, the people that could have been considered my friends were, I, I saw them a couple times outside of the context of being at school in the entirety of the time that I went to those schools. Because I've always been one to, to stay at home and not do much. I've always been content with that. This is cliche, this is what so many people do, but I fell victim to it as well. It's as soon as I'm told I can't have something, then I want it even more. But that's not even true. I didn't even really feel the effect of the quarantine for a couple weeks because of how used to that sort of lifestyle I am. But now it's like I'm trying to find anything to do get my mind off of it. Actually, my, my hair, in fact, I this is like six or seven years later, I finally got around to doing it. And why? Because of the quarantine. Why do I have this stupid looking mustache? <laughs> because of the quarantine. What else am I gonna do? I need some sort of stimuli. But now I have the next six months living at home, which is funny, I haven't lived at home in like a year and a half. Ideally, a lot of the summer will be taken up by me being other places but still it's interesting you know something like a pandemic doesn't doesn't feel like something that really exists up until before this happened the pandemic didn't feel like something that could really exist it just felt like something you read about in history class but now it's actually happening I don't know I guess I'm just suffering from quarantine insanity like we all are. My dad's been doing a bunch of stuff around the house, partly because that's just who he is, but also because he's been forcefully given all this free time. My friend made a post on Instagram that felt connected with me, uh, partly because I was involved in the post, but also the fact that it's, yeah, it's, it's sad because it's true. I hope your mental stability hasn't taken too much of a toll in these interesting times. I guess it's time to go back inside, make some more videos, eat some more food, not work. In the meantime, stay safe. Don't touch anyone or anything under any circumstances. Wear a condom and don't forget to be awesome.